Over the weekend, a $3 billion deal became the latest example of China's global commodities grab. China's Sinuk agreed to buy a 50% stake in Argentine oil producer Bridas. Melissa Long is live in Hong Kong. She has more for us. Melissa. Hey, good morning, Eric. Uh, this move is really the latest by China to aggressively stretch its reach for resources and a reach across the globe. And it gives the biggest oil company a very deep footprint in South America. I should also clarify the biggest offshore oil explorer giving that deep footprint in South America. In addition to the company's 50% stake now in Argentina, China Min Metals and China Petrochemical lead a shopping spree back in 2009, snapping up zinc mines in Australia oil reserves in Nigeria and also gold deposits in the Philippines. Now, PetroChina won Canadian approval late last year as well to buy a stake in two Alberta oil sands projects. Its biggest North American acquisition also reflecting on last year, PetroChina paid $3.6 billion for Singapore Petroleum, a stake in the Nippon Oil Corporation plant and a venture in Kazakhstan. Where are we not seeing the deals? The U.S. Several years ago, one really didn't get a very warm reception. It was a Chinese oil giant that tried to acquire Unical for $18.5 billion at the time. It was an unsolicited acquisition. Congress essentially blocking it due to concerns over China owning such a large chunk of U.S. oil reserves. And I still think that we are unlikely to see Chinese companies make large-scale acquisitions for assets in the United States and also in other developed economies on its own. Some of the acquisitions we have seen in the past couple of years are joint efforts between Chinese companies and um, foreign oil companies, including this transaction with Britas. That was a director that was an analyst from Fitch uh, Ratings. She was based out of Beijing. She also told me that several of these state-run enterprises, these Chinese state-run enterprises, have very healthy balance sheets. They have strong ratings, she says, and therefore she really expects these acquisitions to really continue going forward.